right, uh, so I think we're ready to call to order. So this is the September 9th meeting of the Montpelier Planning Commission. We're called to order. Uh, and uh, first we have to approve the agenda. A motion it's approved. To, it's deemed approved. Okay. Uh, so comments from the chair. Um, my comments are that uh, Mike had some emergency haying to do, and he is not here, so we don't have staff. Uh, another update is that um, the maps that we marked up last time were accidentally recycled, so we're going to have to recreate that. Uh, I have lots of fun news. Um, it's all working. We, they were messy anyway, so I'm not, I'm not sweating it. I did write, I did keep down, I did keep notes, so we're going to just recreate that tonight when we get to it. Well, I missed it, so that sounds okay for me. Sorry. That's for great. <laughs> yeah, and um, so we have a different dynamic this time because, yeah, it was just because Stephanie and John are here and then Barb's not here, so we had put off voting on something because it was sort of a, a split, a decisive, or, a, you know, a um, divisive thing. That might not be the case now, so we might actually be able to, to finish our, our boundary tonight. Uh, as a reminder, it's going to be the preliminary boundary. We'll get that in a second. Okay. Uh, so that's all my comments, really. Um, the, other, the other thing I guess I would have to say is that, that yeah, we should plan to, we're, we're getting back into the city plan starting next time, and we're going to try to focus on that almost exclusively. So this is going to be the last meeting that's just sort of like tying up loose ends from other things. Uh, next thing on the agenda is the general business. Uh, we don't have any members from the public here, so um, there's no one to, to make any comments. Uh, and then the next on our agenda is to consider the minutes from August 26th. So if everyone will take a look at those. the minutes say aye. Aye. aye aye opposed okay minutes approved moving on we're going to continue the discussion of the boundary for the design review district um, i'm going to pull up my notes from last time so in terms of the process when we're done with the draft it goes up to city council for their review or what's the they need to have public meetings on it Do for the boundary yeah we're going. I think we're going to we're going to have our own. Okay. Uh, this is just a preliminary thing to put out there to, to propose, and then hold uh, some kind of hearing. Probably one of these meetings, I would imagine. Yeah. So we'll just be a hearing that's dedicated to this. Okay. Get input, and then we'll send it to city council. Okay. Um, so our whole purpose right now is yeah, it's just a starting place for the public to let us know what they think. My, I've, I've talked to a few people around town just as this has come up, and it seems like there might be support with what we've done so far here, um, because we're not drastically changing anything so far. Uh, so to catch everyone up there, we have this map that's the zoning and design control districts. And we don't have this on camera, do we, on the table? Okay. So we'll keep it right here. Uh, and then I'll remind everyone of where we were last time. Okay, so where we're at right now, and this, these were all uh, kind of tentatively voted on last time, but there's no, nothing official, uh, is we decided to use the 
as the basis the current design review boundary, which is the dark black on this map boundary. We decided that we wanted to add all the parts of the designated downtown that are not included currently, which is something that we have to do anyway. And that's on Berry Street and just a small piece of Berry Street. And I think that might be all. It was it's like the green. Oh, and area. there's there's a little around Miles Court uh, also. So those are required to be in our. Those are required. Those are required. And not okay. Right. Uh, That's easy. We enough. could leave them out, but we'd have to pull them out of the downtown district, which we probably don't want. To right. Yeah, right. That makes sense. That's. And and but there were other reasons we were looking at it too. I mean, we had we had the full discussion and. And I don't remember all the details, but I mean, it, it seemed to make sense given the context of the neighborhoods in these places anyway. Right. Is it finishing like, for instance, those like, districts? Hmm? Is it it's completing those two districts that are almost entirely in? Is it just like those little, those two pieces? It's, it's finishing that one, but then also adding a parcel from, from yeah, now? seven, okay. three. But, so it's going up, uh, that's, east this east state, going up east state. Or this well, is final. Okay. Well, when we vote, right. I think okay. we should mark it up. It's a sharpie. It. Should we start with no a eraser? Pencil? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a pencil, yeah. but we could do that. So that's the first thing that we would decide to add back. The only other thing we decided to add was the rest of seven four. So there's a strip that's currently left out of seven four, and the idea for one thing, this is mixed use. This is you know we expect commercial development here. And we think that that's appropriate for design review. That was a lot of discussion last time. Was just about how um, commercial, like some, something that's likely to, to have commercial development. We think it makes sense for design review. Um, so this is just a in in during our zoning you know, uh, process. Oh no! <laughs> during the zoning process, uh, Mike had Mike identified <laughs> these neighborhoods as being kind of you know connected holes, so it, it makes sense to follow those for that reason. Okay, so the stuff that we, we decided to take out, though, from the current boundary is the parcels from 9-4 on East Main Street that are sticking out. So 9-4 so is the yellow, and so there's about four parcels there that uh, are part of a different neighborhood that kind of go up Main Street away from the middle school. Uh, we thought that, that that wasn't necessary to keep in. Um, and then one parcel from 8-3 that's St. Paul. That's near the elementary school. We were, the point of those little things were to try to match the design the review to a zoning district. Yeah. yeah. Which makes perfect sense. Which we're not perfectly doing. I'm taking out that little green spot there. This little green spot here. So it's one parcel. And you know it was identified to be part of the 83 neighborhood, but currently it's the only, at least the only one it, on along that street right there that's in design review. Uh, another one was all parts of 117 be removed. And I'm having to find where that is. Northfield Street. Oh, the blue. Yeah. It's the blue uh, so up Northfield. This one? Okay. Yeah. So we yeah. didn't know why. Again, to conform with, with... That's just one person. Yeah, we... This, is, this was identified as its own <laughs> zoning neighborhood, so let's... Since most of it is not in design review, let's take out that part that is. And I think we had some unanswered questions about the green... I can't see the number. Yeah, what that was. That's true, and I did not actually keep that down as a note, but I think we probably decided it was no big deal. But that what? I think we decided maybe it was no big deal, but we were confused about it. Yeah, and yeah. I think again with the whole neighborhood idea, I think that is something. I, don't, I mean. Yeah, that looks like a, I mean, there's a row, of, a row of houses here, but that's is this part of that, that parcel. Parcel. Kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. That's sort of a weird addition. <laughs> yeah, these things evolve <laughs> over, yeah. over time. Yeah. And Since we don't really uh, know where the well, line and this, I, well, the reason why some of these conflict with the neighborhoods is because this boundary existed before Mike created the neighborhoods. Ah, yeah, okay. that's that's why. And probably before, yeah. you know, par better parcel maps were created right. as well. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. But so. the neighborhoods were, I mean, I wasn't part of that process. That was part of, were you there when they did that? Just the very end of it. Where you were. Just the very end of it. Okay. It was like I, probably a 15 year process. But yeah. I mean, that feels like a really, it makes sense to match those because that was a much more intentional process that we yeah. actually know what was going on. So I feel good about that. Right. And in the places where we kind of break that rule, so f that as far as like, we, we, we discussed some of these things, where, for instance, part of 8283 eight, neighborhoods, uh, we're, we, we decided to keep in tentatively uh, last time. Uh, because we, we understand that this is a bit of a gateway coming down into Montpelier from that direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it does make some sense that this is going to be something that's, that's viewed more and it makes more sense for design review. So even though it's kind of breaking up those neighborhoods, at least that part of those neighborhoods makes sense because they're on the main street there. Because it's main street. Uh, and, and then here, here as well, is that sort of similar logic around the... We um, punted on the college. We, yeah, yeah, that's going to be what we're tackling right now uh, after we get caught but up. But it's similar logic in the Riverside on Berry Street. Yeah. Where this is seen from different perspectives coming into Montpelier. But this side of the street. So is this the orange is all, the 7 1? Is that all the college? That's the area around the college and, and Sabins, part of Sabins, the tiny part of Sabins, beginning of it, uh, is currently in. But, let, but that's we we punted on this. We didn't. We couldn't are, yeah. figure. We couldn't decide whether to, to remove this entirely, or to keep it in, or do something. Because with we it. can't actually control the college anyway. Correct. To some give degree. Them wide latitude. Right. Yes. <laughs> wide latitude. <lines. laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was the understanding. Yeah, not can't like the state houses. That's officially a can't. Yeah. This is a but I think right between. Okay. Right. Part of part of the discussion we had regarding that piece was that includes that big like 18 acre uh, lot that is sort of up for development. So right. That was sort of the question is do we keep it in because that could be developed. Yeah, this. Yeah. But then I mean, this, this, I don't know, there's, there's a lot of questions there. But uh, just, right. so there's one more thing to get you caught up on and that's we also, we also decided to remove part of 9-6. It's on route two, it said. Oh, this this little yeah. this little piece of the yellow. Mm -hmm. We were gonna move the boundary back over to match the neighborhood there. Uh, and that's where we are. Okay. Um, we did, we just discussed a lot of different possibilities, and we ended up actually not changing the current boundary that much um, after after discussing it quite a bit. Did you talk about national life? We did. We talked a lot about national life, and. I mean, people did, didn't do a lot of different reasons. I mean, one thing that, that stood out to me was that the area and the gateway coming in by National Life could be subdivided someday, could have more development, could have commercial development, things that people are seeing. So it makes it does make sense that even though it's National Life right now, it's the way it's thought of right now, that could change and it could be to, it could be totally appropriate to have design review over there. That makes sense, and it's a, definitely a gateway. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, nothing's off the table for our discussion right now, but the thing that we need to tackle is definitely the college and that parcel and what we want to do with it. So with that, I'm going to just turn it over to everyone. To so should we look at some of the smaller things first and just mark what we know we're all good with? And then, does that make sense, process-wise? I also have different colored markers, if that would be helpful. Randomly. <laughs> From a meeting I was facilitating. <laughs> on There'll be no way to we figure have, out what the different colors are. We, we could have one color for like new added and one color for removed. Subtracted. Sure. But I think anything more than that and well, if it's helpful, like flirting with disaster. I do have color checkers. Randomly. Like, facilitator. So I'm assuming that the folks who were here last time are still happy with what was decided last time. Um, the two of you happy with what I just went through as far as where we're at? It sounds like include anything in the downtown district. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that makes sense. And then basically cut out 
little residential parts that were part of other zoning districts yeah. with a couple <coughs> a couple exceptions. Minor exceptions we didn't talk about the other this other side up here and it doesn't totally match but I don't think we did we we didn't talk about that right does that line up with like the capital complex yes this is the capital and then yeah. further off the blue is the blue like hash ta like hash oh, on this side that's all mm, yeah this side? This is yeah out. the yellow and the purple Oh, that's capital complex, and then over there, that's all still capital complex. Is this all state-owned buildings? Well, a lot of them are. Yeah. A lot of this and is state-owned. This is in the woods behind the state house. Oh yeah. And then this is all the state right. Like, right. So. so I guess it's yeah. just at the corner of Bailey and Terrace. Yeah, that, and across the street. Yeah, so that part of Terrace up there, I think, is all residential. I think so, too. I think this is, but I don't think that this is mostly office, office buildings. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. old yeah. residential, yeah. but now well, office buildings, everything, right? Everything on Baldwin. It's all residential. Oh, right, you're right. right. I'm on the wrong street. Yeah. These, these are homes back here. These are homes. This is, big, this is redstone right here. Hmm. Hmm. Right. <laughs> They are high, visi high visibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think if you're looking at the state house, those are in like the. Yeah, the ones right behind. Yeah. Okay. Alright. What color would you like? What'll show up the best? <laughs> so red is removal. Red is. <laughs> green is addition. I don't know, okay. Maybe green's not bright enough. Blue. Red and blue, black. Brighter. <laughs> we have. Oh, the outline's already black. Come on. Look a little. Look at the colors. Pink. There's a pink outline. Oh, oh. okay. Are you going to be the artist? You can decide. No, I, I was going to let you do it. You're in charge <laughs> <Yeah, just> here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bring in the mark. It makes sense. Remove in red, add in green. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Well, okay. Let's talk about. Let's, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way here. Let's let's talk about the, the VS, VCFA. Right. So these. Um, this is a couple of houses. So I, my house is right there. <laughs> so you want that included? So these, this is, no. Um, this is a couple of just residential houses that are next to the college, which I think I think there was some discussion on that when the founder came up last time, why those three houses are in there. In the 9-1 yellow? 7-1. Uh, oh, yes. oh, yeah, 9-1. 9-1 yeah. yellow. Um, There's also a little part of 7-1 that's like out, carved out. And oh, the purple? Right the, the, yeah, that little guy, and then there's a little bit of the purple stuck in. Oh, on yeah. both sides, yeah. Sorry, I'll jump there too. Uh, that's, that's, uh, actually, there, that's currently college property, I think, but they're selling it? Or is that this corner one? Maybe it's that corner one. I mean, any of them could be sold. I mean, I, I'm well, in favor right. <laughs> of looking at the approach like very long term and saying. Yeah, I mean, to me, VCFA could close. Not to be a bummer, but. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I don't. I, this square is very strange to me in Montpelier. Like, I'm not sure how much it's utilized or viewed, but maybe I'm totally wrong on that. It's this, just this my sense. This separate square? Well, just that square of, you know, there is that. Noble Hall historic oh, building, the, the like but the green, the, yeah, the green, yeah, the green. It just doesn't. It oh, it's used all the time yeah. by all the neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. But it's used more it's like for city residents as opposed to like visitors, right? Um, yes. So like, dog. There's a lot of dog activity. <laughs> oh, okay. And sometimes the college will set up a volleyball net in the summer and then leave it, and we'll just go and play volleyball sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a nice community asset, I would say. And do we have any, did the design review or historic preservation commission make any recommendations or no. about anything? No. Total plan. Um, yeah, they, 
through the regs themselves, we got some indicators of what they wanted and expected. For instance, there's the regs that we passed back onto them include uh, the Western Gateway, right? Yes, oh, yeah, and river, there was river. the Western Gateway and River. Because we had talked about removing Western Gateway last time, and then it came up that like, well, it's in the it's in the regs that we're talking about. So, uh, so clearly they they anticipate that there's going to be a Western Gateway in design review. Because um, originally we were planning to line it up with the um, state register district, and it seems like. Having that on here would be helpful. The state register, or the the same is that the same as the national. That was the only. Yeah. The we looked at it. Closest. It's much larger. Or is it this one? Get an answer yet on whether we actually should be included all of those things. I think Mike doesn't want to ask in case they say. Oh, this is the national register. Did I give you the wrong one? Is it this one? Yeah, I think I the think boundary's the same. Yeah, so That's I think it's the red the, one. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That one's just showing the buildings, too. <coughs> yeah, so it is the red one. So, I, I mean, I think when we had the discussion last meeting, the, kind of the starting point was is what's in place now is a good starting point because it's defensible for a lot of different reasons. Um, that that boundary that we're looking at right now tracks a lot closer to the downtown district, or the designated downtown district than the historic district. Um, so I think that was part of the starting point. Um, what do you I mean, mean it cracks closer to the it, designated downtown? It tracks closer to Oh, tracks. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The VCFA parcel tracks closer. I'm to talking them? about the entire oh, okay. design review yeah. boundary. Okay. Um, it tends to track a little because as you can kind of see the right. historic district on that other map that's next to it. The historic district has a lot of area that's just not even. And it includes a lot of residential areas that the yeah. current design review doesn't, yeah. and we just didn't see a compelling reason to to lump those in. Yeah. So it frankly becomes a question of whether you know what's the utility of expanding the designate uh, the design review district and what the current footprint but it might be helpful on those edges as to why you're including something or not if it's in the register district and that is one reason why thanks because I was struggling to remember it but one reason why we cut these parcels out from 9 four is because they're not. So we were we were balancing the maps off of each other when we were looking going through it last time. And and, and yeah, that map is also a reason why we had a good look at National Life and and, right. and Barry Street. So we had discussions of all of the, the areas that are left out of that map. So we included pump out the downtown. Sounds like leaving part of national or national life in has been what folks are in favor of. Yeah, yeah. National I mean, life in North Coast Street. So the other ones, to, at least how I looked at this, is these proposed rules sort of have a two-tiered system. One is as if it's an it's an existing building within the design review district. That's sort of we're all, I guess I wouldn't say onerous, but the more detailed requirements are for design review as opposed to new construction. The new construction sort of guidelines are less stringent, I guess. Um, they just sort of outline sort of broad principles that I think are available. You're not going to get into the whole windows and doors. It's the whole make it historic, but don't make it historic. Exactly, and so, so I, there's different reasons to have different areas in the design review district. National life, like the Western Gateway, it's a pretty different analysis as to what it means versus what's in the designated downtown area, where you're going to get more of the historic issues. And I think the same applies to. If you look at the 
the college parcel if we agree that the bulk of that is not ever going to be really disturbed by design review because we give the college a broad latitude. It sort of comes down to, well, what's left is that 18-acre parcel that the college owns that might be developed, and do we want design review to have some oversight to the development there as, as new construction? <coughs> And did you talk about uh, Main Street at all, and whether or not um, that should be continued up? Which part? Like you between mean the green and downtown? Yeah, the, con the, the connection. Uh, th that was uh, we didn't we didn't talk about expanding. That that would be a pretty large expansion, and I think that as overall we were we were not thinking of going there. Um, but it is also kind of part of this discussion that we put off because. It makes, in my mind, it makes more sense to have a connector if you're actually connecting to the uh, college if that's included in the new design review district. If the college isn't included, then I think it using State Street. That's that, and that's what you meant, right? East State, State Street. State, not Main. Yeah. Um, um, right. Makes State less. Street, yeah. yeah, it makes less sense. Um, that's it. That's all I got for that. I guess the other thing I would add too is, um, you know, if if you if we agree that these new regs are more prescriptive, once you're in the designated downtown area with existing structures, I think that that's an argument for reducing the footprint of the design review district as much as possible. Um, because while I think the historic preservation board were, you know, they've sort of pitched themselves as we're a resource and that's fine, anybody can use them, it becomes a different animal when they're required to go <laughs> to design review. I mean, anybody can use those resources if they want to ensure that their properties are historically consistent with the area. Um, but I, I, I feel pretty strongly that. These proposed regs sort of lack a, a kind of a cost assessment with any of the work that's involved. And I feel like we need to balance what's in these proposed regs and recognize that, you know, at some point, uh, owners of properties within the downtown district or the design review board, they're going to have to make difficult choices about whether to put money into changes to their property or just defer those costs because they just simply can't afford windows, doors, or whatever the DRB requires of them. So I'm, I'm fairly sensitive to that. And, if it, and again, if any, if any property owner wants to go and use the city resources to determine, you know, what they should do to make sure it's consistent with So what are what are our thoughts about the about the college? Can um, I ask a question? Yeah. Um, the section, the parcel that's off down to Berry Street, the big one that's for sale. Yep. What would be? I'm just I would benefit from hearing a discussion about why that parcel should be left in. Because it's holding, it's got mm -hmm. the only section of Riverside out that way that we're that we are including yeah. and I just it, you know regardless of who it's owned by I'm just not sure it seems weird I, I agree with I, I think for continuity that if we if we think it's important to keep this in the whole thing then, should it, come out. then it should be extended as part of Barry Street not as part of the college I agree so would it, like what about whacking off that property and keeping the college in and then tidying up the edges in the zoning. I think that makes a lot of sense. And there's not, 
too much historic preservation concern out here because we're talking new development. Yeah. yeah. Right. There, and I, I mean, but there is the, des the general design review standards, though, that would apply. There is the concern there. Yeah, and I think we, in the discussion about the property being developed and the zoning boundary changes, the neighbors back there would probably enjoy having some extra review of what's going on, but it just doesn't seem Super fair. We, we also talked about that last time about how you there's there's a lot of uh, turmoil is probably too strong of a word but there's you know there's a little bit Energy. of bit of uh, <laughs> yeah there's a little bit of disagreement uh, with the these neighborhoods and things that go on in this area and we currently have a lot of uh, pro parcels that are not subject to design review right next to those that would be and it seems like a sort of unfair, imbalanced situation with these neighborhoods that are actually quite similar to each other. Let me put another way, people on Saving Street have more power over people, what goes on behind them, than, than those parcels have over Saving Street. But, but again, I think that there's, it's not an apples to apples comparison. The design reviews, guidelines that would be subject, that the new development would be subject to would be different from the requirements that the existing structures yeah, here, the would, new, be, here yeah. would be subject to. Right. I mean, it's... Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Right. So, the question sort of just becomes, are, are we comfortable with subjecting the new development in that area to design review under the new construction guidelines? I mean, I don't hate the idea of moving, like, moving all of Riverside out that way, including it all, and then leaving in that parcel. But, but uh, yeah, as to, it stands. To me, to leave a, a undeveloped parcel in here, I don't, I don't understand that. I, I That's mean, I'm not, I'm not one who's sympathetic to design review, expanding the design review in general, but that seems really... I just, yeah. Well, I think it's a pretty visible, if you're coming in from that direction, that whole chunk of land is fairly visible across the river from. But it's probably, it's all equally visible. Well, like exactly, yeah. So my concern oh. is that we've got one parcel that is subject to design review in that area, whereas everything is visible. So it seems strange that we would do the one mm -hmm. and not the rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather extend it down Berry Street and take that parcel out. <laughs> Then I mean that. Or take the whole college. Well, well, I, I probably am in favor of taking the whole college parcel out, but I think especially the undeveloped land oh, part of it. Arm, I yeah. don't. That just doesn't make any sense to me that we're putting an undeveloped parcel of land into design review, other than we want extra scrutiny of extra any development. And to me, our zoning regulation should be covering that. I don't know. Yeah, we do have. It's not like we're saying this will not undergo any review. We still have site plan, conditional use, and subdivision regulations that will need to be subject to. Uh, and all of Saban's pasture is, other than that chunk, is it, out. It's, it's out, yeah. so, so it, it seems yeah. odd. I, I would take it out, too. Um, are, are people more in favor of taking it out and leaving it at that, or taking it out but in, but in finding a way to keep Barry Street in? How much interest is there in seems like the designated downtown provides a nice yeah cut off at Granite Street okay so and, and would we cut off at the zoning or the parcel what up here yeah I, I had thought that the zoning was the idea I guess that follows oh, okay. everything else. But, oh, but you were thinking the parcel? I guess there. Just yeah, whatever makes the most sense. There's not that many examples of a parcel that's split into several zonings. So right. I don't know how that happened. That's kind of weird. Right. That's what yeah. Mike was saying when we had the developer come in. To do were you there at that meeting? I don't think so. The, yeah, because we, we asked, this said, why, is, why are they zoning boundaries this way? And he's like, well, we actually proposed something different. But City Council did that one. And then someone came in and they moved it again. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go with the parcel. You think the parcel? Yeah. What, is, what do you mean? Let's go with it. So he's, 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 he's saying leave the um, 
so there would be part of seven one zoning neighborhood that would not be in the design review up here. Because what the, portion, arguably the what zone part, should I'm, follow I'm, the parcel. What, part, what portion are you looking at removing? So do you see the boundary for the I parcel? The boundary. He's talking about using that boundary. Which as the design review boundary. And then so towards the college, so down so to very so street. Remove this that. part in. That part in. This entire it. parcel out, including the part that's in seven. Well, I feel like if we're going to do that, we might as well remove the whole thing because if we, as Mike says, we give the college broad latitude, I have, I have design review authority in name alone. If we're not going to exercise it. It could change. I mean, for me, for me, it's about the resource and whether or not we think design review is appropriate because it's a. Um, that's fair. Resource that stands out, you know, that's fair. it's exceptional. Yeah, I would, I would probably keep it in for that too. I would too. That wasn't me. Like, yeah, you know, I wasn't trying to <coughs> sell it just now. But. No, I, I mean that was how mm -hmm. I was think. That's how I feel about it. And and this is all, I mean, really steep slope and you know, floodplain or yeah, it's, it's not leave it in or cut it out. It doesn't really matter, but it feels like the. Line is just cleaner. It's just imaginary a line that's that has not been clearly defined. So do we take mini votes on each little decision, or we all just say yeah, good, and then if, move on? If we have a, I mean, if we have a general consensus, I think it's sufficient just to do the whole thing at once. Okay. Um, and I'm not. So it sounds so so straw. We kind of been straw polling it, like. Okay. So using the. Is everyone okay with the parcel line boundary and but keeping the college in otherwise? Is anyone else in favor of taking the college out besides me? Yeah. It feels like we're playing Clue sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> just, just throwing it out there. I think not, but I'm just checking. I'm in favor of keeping it as is, but I'm not based on a strong opinion. You two said that you lock it in. Yeah, I keep I'm definitely open to and I guess I don't I mean open to like cleaning up the line with the zoning. Oh, batteries. the purple and the yellow. Yeah, the purple yeah. and the yeah. yellow, but mm -hmm. if that doesn't yeah. make sense if you know the area a little better. It doesn't make sense, that's fine. Which which section? You, these two? If we keep the college in, yeah, those yeah. three corners. I, we're just talking about this right now, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. We switched topics. I thought we did. So are we all no, getting ahead of my No, we, we were talking about that, but... And so if we're but, good but with that, then it's we And I don't think Stephanie was against making those changes before. No, I'm not against that. I'm well, just saying this change, yeah. taking out that piece, great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good about so that. Using this yeah. boundary, and then how do people feel about cleaning up to conform with the neighborhoods on the other side of... That's fine. I yeah, feel good about that. It doesn't sense at all. And this is just like a couple of residential houses that, I mean, these are residents, residential houses too, but these feel more in keeping with this like, and not these don't. This Whereas this Victoria is just though. a cliff yeah. 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 where there's like oh, a house yeah, they that's like, down in the woods. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. Those look like they could be part of the college. All the ones kind okay. of lining the quad. Yeah, so I would be comfortable taking this out and this out and this out. What about adding the and little that. corner? Oh, this, yeah, and adding that because. Okay. So. Yeah, because that's, I think that's part of that parcel. I'm pretty sure the college owns that land. Which one? This little, this random corner. I don't think there's a house there. I don't know. There's that summit. Yes. Yeah, so there's like, it looks like there's one house at the end of summit. I think that's this house. That's this parcel I thought, though. Like at the very end, or? At the that that is like this one house that's just at the end there. Do you access it from that street or from, from Summit? From Summit. Okay. Can I just propose that we agree to just make the boundary consistent with the neighborhood boundaries? Yeah. It just seems. So just add that little corner. I'm fine. Whatever the that neighborhood is, boundaries. Whatever we have to do to make it consistent with the neighborhood it is boundaries. That we have yeah. Looking at it, it seems, from here, it seems, like, from here, it seems like it should have been in the it should have been in the nine one neighborhood to start with though. Right. Are you looking but at the, what are you looking at? We're looking, looking at this like this the orange parcel. The parcel lines. You, like you, you have to drive all the way to the end of summit to get anywhere. to it. <laughs> so it's not really part of seven one, it's really part, more part of nine one. Yeah, but. what is that? It's a house? It's a, it looks it's like a house. It looks like a house. 
I guess we should leave it out. I, I would leave it out. There's no, we can't, we can't see it from anywhere. You don't need to regulate that? <laughs> Any no more one than can see anyway. it. Therefore. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so is everybody okay with leaving, uh, leaving that, leaving that parcel as is, but, but changing the yellow and purple parts? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything else? You mentioned connecting East State Street. Wait, so what did we decide on the larger parcel? We decided that we were going to use the parcel boundary on the east side of uh, the 71 to sort of to bring, to reduce the boundary there. Uh, and then to remove the part of 10-2 that's currently in design review and the part of 9-1. Uh, but the part of 7-1 that's, that's currently excluded from design review, we're going to leave excluded. But the big undeveloped parts that it's going to be done. Yeah. Should we mark that? Get the marker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we just really just need this. Yeah, I can start marking up what we talked about last time, or or we can continue the discussion though. Well, let's can we just add the designated downtown to start? Because that's we seem to be all on board with that. Okay. I don't remember which piece specifically that was. But if it's designated downtown and it matches the zoning district, I'm on board. <laughs> yeah. So that's still it's still clear as well. Yeah. Okay. Do we know why, just out of curiosity, um, this other side of Ferry Street is still? We had a discussion about that. Okay, we don't have to get back into it if you guys are all I don't. Good. I don't think we ever, we didn't decide on why it's left out. We just decided to, to leave it out. We didn't have enough votes <laughs> to put it back in. That's another way to put it. Okay. Uh, My guess is you can't see it from across the river? It's not as visible from across the river. I think this, that is what kind of what our theory was. And uh, okay. it splits Ferry Street, but so does the current Disney downtown, so. Yeah, okay. You can kind of see the backs of those, that side of the street from the river, because it's like, uh, yeah. Those are all mostly residential, I guess. Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. Mostly, well, a lot of them are like, broken up into apartments. Yeah. Um, Do we have another? Yeah, it's weird that it wouldn't be in the downtown. It's street. weird that one side wouldn't be really, yeah. One side in, one side out. And then seven four was the other. This one is everyone okay with adding that slice back in? Mm -hmm. Is that the pit? So they uh, it's grassed it over, right? It's, it's the old yeah. burned down. Yeah. Is it Derby yeah. Drive? Yeah. Is that yeah. what it was? It is, yeah. That, the rest, old restaurant. I like to think of it as like what Parks and Rec's like <laughs> the pit that was just like <laughs> undeveloped for 15 years. That that's our the kept, pit. Oh yeah, the that pit. is yes. You should put a park in there. Yeah, yeah actually. <laughs> Not the worst idea. Okay, so minus. The Main Street parcels, everyone okay? Yeah, it's not even That's in the, not in there uh, either. Okay, yeah, yeah. then yep. I'm good. Um, the one parcel in St. Paul. One parcel in St. Paul. Where is it? That. Oh, that one. Still yes. That's Still not yes. in the designated downtown. 
That's where the line is for the it's designated it's, downtown. Yeah, it's not in the designated downtown, and it's in a different zoning neighborhood than the others around it okay. that are included. Those are the reasons. Okay, so taking out. Mm -hmm. All parts of 11-7. Fourth district, right. Uh, the blue. Is everyone okay with that? Taking it up? Yeah, mm -hmm. go for it. This does feel like some sort of strange game. <laughs> It's like, yeah, a cooperative board game yeah. where <laughs> we reveal the killer <laughs> flip <and> tile. <laughs> is oh, we lost oh, again. <laughs> we lost Main Street. How did we lose the roundabout? <laughs> part of the, uh, so part of 9-6. Okay, so that's that, which is one of the most peculiar things on this entire <laughs> boundary. Yeah. Cross it up. Cross it up. What about... This commercial part of I've, Yeah, I was just land. looking at that too. That's all the gas stations. Yeah. There's like one house. Are we worried about doors and windows at the gas stations? Well, it's... I mean, it's, I'm not it's, trying it's, to be facetious. Like. It's, well, it's not just that stuff, though. It's it's the uh, the regular design review. Mm -hmm. um, if, the, if we think that's like a prominent area... It's less what it is and more what it could be, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to guess there's always going to be a gas station there. It's just what it's going to be. From Porch Forum would have thoughts on that. Who uh, would? From Porch Forum would have thoughts. <laughs> if there's, if there's, there's Porch Forum does have thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> if, there's, if there's any development where you want to take a closer look at how it looks, yeah, I mean, that's a, a prominent area with gas stations. I'd be in favor of expanding into that. Also to make it consistent with the entire neighborhood, which I think is part of what John, where John was coming from, too. Like what happens at School Street that we stop carrying? The other gas station. <laughs> the Dunkin' Donuts. The Dunkin' Donuts can do, do as it wants. There are a couple of houses in there. There's a new house that just got. I feel like that's, that's, that's further, further down. Further that's further down. down. That's yeah. it. But I think I think that's a house. I think that is. Oh, there is a house. Yeah, like mixed There's in. There's a house in gas between the gas station. Two of yeah. them mixed in there. I'm going to be. I'm not too worried about. They'd have to be contributing for the store yeah, preservation to apply to them. There's. I imagine they're not contributing. Oh. They're out of the district. Yeah. I feel like. I feel like oh, right, right, right. The, yeah, they're uh, definitely the, out of the, the, uh, the historic district at the end over there anyway. Yeah. Um, but I mean, thinking about what that space might be in the future, I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense as a commercial space, even though there are a couple of houses there. And it's definitely what you see when you come into Montpelier. Let's do a, let's do a, a poll. Uh, who's in favor of including all of 4-2? Raise your hand. It's 4-2. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm still trying to, I'm not sure if I am. I can just see an argument for it. We have right, widespread indifference. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm against it. You are? Yeah. We have well, one against, against it. Well, that felt strong, so. Five indifference. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to move the needle on this one. Okay. All Besides right. So we'll keep that okay. as is. Okay. Is the um, the line up Northfield Street clean? Does it just like handle those properties that you kind of access from Northfield? Well, down in the in the not four two zone. Like, is that that line is pretty this arbitrary? Is it just like blows right up the up school this street. One? Yeah, is so up School Street. So that makes sense as a. School Ave, by the way. School Street's School a different, Ave, right, right, right. It's a different street. That was a good idea. Yeah, so everything on Northfield is in. Okay. Everything that touches Northfield is in. Mm -hmm. I'm, I still don't know what this is. Yeah. I feel like that's a separate parcel. Mm -hmm. And that's could be, I would 
yeah. be comfortable. Yeah, there's that. no reason to have that. In. Yeah, I would take that out. Yeah, is it just steep? Okay. Everyone in favor of taking that out? Cross it off. Oh, that's right. the hell. Somebody tries to develop right up against the. <laughs> 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 they're gonna put in a. Stairs. Well, they're gonna put in a wind to turbine. Have an engineering plan, <laughs> yeah. and they have to be reviewed anyway. So, given the slope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. That, that's so steep and bad. That's right. Oh, it's super steep. Yeah. I mean, even these houses are. Yeah. Pretty steep. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I think I see it. Okay. What about this little boop? We talked about that. Does it follow? Happen. Does it follow the property property line right now? Because there's a lot of weirdness in that. I think. Oh, so is this I think that is a different parcel. Uh, and but currently, our it's just our our old design review is just that's a weird boundary right there. Oh. So can we just make it match? What about the pink that's out though? Pink. If you make it um, in this way towards the, the neighborhood, yeah, right there. It's like the solar. But yeah, I don't know why that's no, that line is that's up that's here. Not it's, not it's up here. Yeah, because I used to, the right, community it's, garden, it's, 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 it's like here. here. Yeah. Because yeah. I used to be part of this community garden. That's right here, in front of it. Can you raise behind it? Yeah. Right, the, the garden is out. Yeah, and the array the community garden is out. is like right here. Yeah. So what, you want to mash it to the neighborhood boundary? I would mash it here and here. Do we want that entire? That's all, this is national life property too. Right. It's all it's all one parcel. And we think including all of that. Can we just do the entire western view. I think it's just, I guess that's what I'm simple and consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Doing this kind of splits this top side of Northfield Street where we're design review on one side and not on the other. Yeah, but I think they're right. That's the community garden and the solar right. I mean, the solar yeah. comes up pretty close to the road. It's been a while. Yeah, there's like a road, so the community yeah. gardens look here, and then yeah. the road comes neck through it. Yeah. So it's like oh, kind of behind, it's mostly behind the community garden. You can see that from the highway. Okay. You're kind of coming down. Yeah. If you're going it's north, like, you can see it. Yeah. Western Gateway from the other direction. Yeah, I would just, I would be in favor of making it match. Yeah. The pink. Gateway. Wait, here and here and here. here. And taking and, that and out. And taking the blue out, taking out the eleven seven. That's this isn't new. Oh right, right, right. Leaving out eleven seven. So yeah, leaving that all out. So okay. and then, this way, and taking then, that out and adding that. So basically going from here. Yeah. Just, just matching the, the matching just the pink. It doesn't okay. quite match on this end either. Just it's not in our map, but we're going there. Like over here, there's something else that doesn't match, or maybe it's because it's not national life property. No, I think it's this is. I think it's this. I think it's this. Oh no, I'm sorry. Wait. I, think I mean, this zone comes. I think it might off. be behind the. Not the not this zone. I think it might be behind the. I thought I was remembering that like, CCB oh. is up there. It is. But I, it's not on that map. So did oh, they? Oh, you're right. Because it cuts that off. Yep. Oh, okay. You're yeah. Right, CCB wasn't. Yeah. I, yep. I mean, I would be in favor of taking that CCV out too, but I I think I would too. I would take yeah. CCV out. Okay. That's different than the historic college buildings yeah. to me. Sorry, tangent. You might <laughs> want to like write that somewhere. Yeah. Well, <laughs> is everyone in, is everyone in favor of that? Is it? It's just the CCV. It's just parcel. that parcel. I think. Yeah. Can I steal this yeah, for a yeah. second? CCV parcel is currently in design maybe uh, for the, some probably historical yeah. reason because it's a little bit. Is it not a historic building? I mean, whatever, whatever designer did to place, to place in no, the building. No, but <laughs> most of these decisions <laughs> weren't for yeah, historic preservation yeah, reasons. They, okay. they were for just design okay. review and having some more control over the, the view. Of, is it because it's a commercial -ish building in a residential area? So that little orange is Turtle Island and the college. Yeah. It's sort of oh, but it's just a stands out. Right. Yeah, it's good. Okay. I'm hearing It's the seven dash eight. The majority say that. Just I was thinking up here since it's all
Okay, going back to the national life boundary is is uh, can I get a show of hands of who's in support of changing the boundary as Stephanie described? Okay. That's a green. Wrong marker. <laughs> For some I made reason, it more I my brain's not working when dealing with this purple and blue together. This I don't is know. an ad removed right. and an ad. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. So this green. Is an yeah, ad. I don't think we have rules for how cleanly community garden space needs to be. <laughs> Do now. <laughs> it's not terribly fun. It's hard because I forgot about that correct. How big is that? It's there were let's see, like thirty-six or so, twenty by twenty foot plots. Wow. Plus pathways and that big? shed and Composting. Yeah, you never really see it because it's kind it's of pretty big. You have to kind of go over the ridge. Right? You have to go over You only see it, yeah. yeah. If you're on Northfield, yeah, and you yeah. can see it from the highway. Yeah. But right. only if you're coming north. Yeah. So, by the way, when we do the city plan and there's the like future development map, I'm like, this is. Okay. I anticipate that we are going to plan development out this way. Mm -hmm. Um. Not currently the case, but I feel like that's connect. That's going to be connected with design review once we get there. And are thinking about it. Yeah, that still feels like a weird area to me because it's a lot of random commercial things and definitely an entrance to Montpelier. But this part. Yeah. So are you saying that it? I could see a, an argument that yeah. it should be in. Yeah. It feels like we need a clearer vision and a plan for what's going to happen there. Otherwise, I'd be worried if decisions about design that become piecemeal or arbitrary or not part of like any yeah. cohesive vision. Yeah. That's a good point. Is that a, what you just said, an argument for design review? It's not not yet. Not yet. Okay. Until we like. Your articulator. Yep. Some kind of. That's a good point. So if through the city plan we decide in our future land use map that we have thoughts about what that should be, then maybe it would make sense. To right. Right. We may say you know, that needs design yeah. review if we're if we're planning for that for that to be developed in a certain way. Do we ever figure out what what yeah. is going on there? Is it because well this is a big chunk of trees behind the state house is behind the state house so that's the reason for that and then that's here but yep. there's mm -hmm. this it's outside of the downtown designated downtown mm -hmm. and frankly the lines <laughs> are bizarre <laughs> relative to Offices too, somewhat up that street. So I know Baldwin is. No, it's Baldwin all. Baldwin is. Baldwin yeah, is. Yeah. So this is the and what's behind it. So what, this is, these are these are mostly houses. Yeah, they there's are. There's some apartments there, residential. right? Residential. Yeah, there's some. Yeah. They're all over Yeah, JFO is here. Yeah. We're, what we were saying before, which I think is right, is that part of the reason this would have been included is that. Certain views of the state house include those houses. Right. No, I'm just going to plot myself down on that street. That's the and those are all it's in the. Um, Bailey. They're all in the register district as well. I mean, going at Bailey, those are offices. They're Bailey is. Yeah, yeah that's in the seems kind that's of appropriate. That's in the designated downtown area. But is this an apartment building? Yeah, with that sort of big Victorian that, and then there's there's a circle, the Chapin Drive or Chapin Road. They're in the Richardson's on the other side of it. That sort of horseshoes up. There's some 
factors up there, but that, like, for instance... The horseshoe feels like a weird... Yeah, but for instance, like, that is in, but right next to it here, this is out. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I wonder if these from the state house were part of that conversation. Views of the state house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't even anticipate that to come up with the public either. I, I don't. I don't think. I've never heard of anyone over there having issue with doing stuff. But. Never been up here. It's a cool house. It's a very steep. Yeah. Okay, so are we done? Are we there? Anything else that's at our starting point? Strange. Anyway? What's this? Mm. Oh, never mind. That's um. Mm -hmm. What about that's the um large parcel that sold redstone? Yeah, the redstone. I was just thinking about that, and really, I I don't know if you have much view of it from over here. You can't see it. Yeah, so with no visibility, I can't see it. Even though it's a big unless, parcel, it could be developed. Unless they cut mm. five acres. <laughs> when you look at the LIDAR around it, it's like oddly terraced. Yeah. Huh. I like my dog over there all the time. In case it's haunted, I'm pretty sure. In general, as far as walk, like housing development that's walkable to downtown, I mean, it seems like the most primo. Oh, yeah. So if so we took out Cliff Street or City Council took out Cliff Street, what was the logic for leaving in just this little it's piece? Designate downtown. downtown. That's part of the downtown. Okay. That's the only piece that's part of the downtown. That's the only piece that's part of the designated downtown and from City Council one. itself recently removed this neighborhood from design review because right. of the yeah, you know. Yeah, and I think because that homeowner speak, you will. But we we, to be up anyway. we had talked last time about potentially putting it back in, but it's residential. It doesn't really fit what we've been looking at as our main priorities right now, which is like more of a focus on commercial and making things line up with neighborhoods. And it just doesn't seem like a great candidate to, to include. That with the downtown, I mean, these are neighborhoods. But they got. They also received uh, historic tax credits, so it's a good example or case study as to why what some of the benefits of it, yeah. right. which they couldn't have done. Two, one. This is right um, this purple one is that undeveloped rocky, yeah. um, or just that oh, that playground. rocky hill. This playground. this yeah, there's there. like a little. Is that the playground? I think so. I thought we talked about it last time, and, and someone pointed out how it's. G oh, that's the so. Like, yeah. yeah, if you come down. I used to. My office used to be here. And it's, there's like a wall right there, and then yeah. there's like, if you come from this way, it's, okay. there's a trail okay. up there's to trail this, trail like, it's like, it's part, it's a park. Okay. Not but it's a weird, it's a great you wouldn't know yeah. that. It's, it's very great, strange. Yeah. It's a very strange park. You wouldn't know that it was there, unless you happen to know that there was a trail off of this street. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I wonder about this light green, and then these parts of 2-1 that are out. That's the only part that still looks kind of not matched. And not to pull off, but I just want to make sure this in there's the downtown splits the street. 
But the, I think we might have talked about that last time. We thought it was good that it included both sides of the street. Up so yeah, this part of Elm, Elm that's not yeah. Disney downtown, but it's, it's gonna it's in design of yeah. Right, I think we look at areas and we think that the downtown feel like the downtown should be expanded there. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is yeah, this is across the street from me where I live. Mm -hmm. I lived in it. Um, It I is. It it cool. is. I mean, this is part of a, a, a type of gateway if you're coming into town from Elm Street. Yeah. Um, this is about the area where. If your house, you're in like now. comparing your house to the houses across the street, there's no reason why one side should be in the downtown, the other shouldn't, right? No, I don't know. It's other than you recognize that life is fundamentally it's, unfair. It's a part. It's of some apartments. Just, there's an old man who loves to change his flag every day. Um, <laughs> he's in a house, and there's apartments, and there's a church, and then there's some off like Victorians that are converted into offices, which is similar to what's across the street. The part that you were looking at that has Stephanie are those par do those split parcels or no? Does the design I review line tell. split parcels? How do you access those purple parcels that are out? Yeah, From parcels. Yeah. Street. I mean, I think it's just including the ones on the street front here, yeah. and these are not. Okay. But which that, as a logic, makes sense. Although, yeah, I wonder if that's a different. Is that a parcel that shouldn't be in then? If it's not on the street here. Is it shaded blue? It's there's a green one that's in. Is it if, it's the the, if it's in the downtown, it is. Just, yeah, it's just a weird corner. as far as a minorly updating it so that it makes sense exercise, this makes sense. And I think it's a, these are defensible changes, I think. I think they are. I think we, we've had a deliberate reason for everything. There's been nothing arbitrary about the suggestions. I think the only neighborhood we might hear from is the new Berry Street. And, and really, we have no choice. Is that all the the condos? Right. So we have a good. I think that's the, the only addition on the other of. Side is, it's on. Oh, that's the, that's still kind of right. Yeah, you're right. It is the condos. The it's in the, it's in the designated downtown, so. Yeah. Unless we change the designated downtown, it's, it seems unlikely to see a lot of new development or activity. Okay, so ready for a for a vote? Sure. Second. <laughs> second. Was that a first? No, we need, oh, I think, oh. I think we'll need a motion for the record on this. Kirby's one. style, just a lot more uh, <laughs> formal. Can I get a sure? <laughs> Can I ever, either do a nod or a yell. <laughs> um, okay. I, you mean to throw out the potential motion? Sure. I think it would be to, uh, as, a, as a preliminary design control district to submit to the public, uh, to submit uh, the map as reflected by our changes here. Unless you want me to detail them. I don't think it's important to detail. Okay. Second. Yeah, there you go. Someone has to first. Yeah, someone. <laughs> I should. I shouldn't be the one. He was making clarifying the motion, the motion. Oh. on the table. Yeah, you first and a second. Is that what I heard? Sure. 
Okay. So, sure. So you both said John with the first. <laughs> Aaron with the second. <laughs> all, all in favor of the motion? Aye. Say aye. Aye. Sure. All opposed. Sure. Sure. <laughs> okay. So unanimously, we have voted on this map to put forth the public. Uh, this just occurred to me as we were voting. Was there a specific piece that Barb might have disagreed on? You said that you made it sound like maybe it would be it have been different last time. I was wondering if there was something specific that uh, where there was disagreement sure. that was withstand. Um, Outstanding. I think Barb was Barb went along with things last time. Like I don't know if she's yeah. just because she didn't like vocally post something doesn't mean she's necessarily in favor of it. So I want to speak for her in that regard. I think what I was anticipating was that yeah, that Barb was going to want this parcel in. Okay. Um, the the VCFA uh, land in and uh, we I think we ended up putting it off because that was gonna be quite the discussion we didn't have time for, I think. Got it. So. Okay. I think I mean we didn't we didn't remove it entirely, so she might not hate it. And we're just throwing this out there for comment. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not done. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay, so got that done. You have to post things for people to be able to see. Sure, um, to see. Yeah, I'll be pass this on to Mike and get the ball rolling on getting a hearing set up to take a look at this for the public. Right, do not recycle on that. I know. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, save. Picture. I remember that. Forget about it. <laughs> that takes me back a long time. Save. save. Yeah, we yeah. the chalkboard for you. Yeah. Although, if we're going off of a picture, that's going to be tricky. No, just as like backup for in case this gets recycled. <laughs> Would that happen twice? I really hope not. I don't we think have two so. Two photos then. With there the was backup photo. <laughs> As a government yeah. employee myself, I can tell you, mm. I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the business of recycling things. I'd want to recycle Mike, everything. Mike expressly said this will not be recycled. <laughs> so, for whatever that's worth. Just write at it. That's what I'm saying. But then, but then you wrap it up, and the person just sees the word "recycle" on it. I do, I do like Stephanie's uh, approach of just writing "save" on it. That's, save. That's, that's, that's why I like it. People do that in the conference rooms. Yeah. <laughs> and that makes you want to just race even more. <laughs> do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So with that done, we're on to item seven on the agenda. Uh, which is to recommend the City Council the appointment of a new representative to the CVRPC. I think if you're interested, you should just go right ahead and take it. <laughs> okay, because we were talking last time about your level of interest. I, I brought that up, but I'm overcommitted in life right now, so if you want to go for it. Is anybody else interested? Are you interested? In it? <laughs> it's pretty much well, like, well, no. I'm, okay. really I'm not happy to. It's give interesting, it a go. but. <laughs> it's but yeah. It's an hour, it's it's you know a couple hour meeting a month. Yeah. It's not a terrible commitment, but it can't. But when you have a, when you have a lot of other things. Yeah. yeah. The first one is babies. tomorrow, though, isn't it? Hmm? Didn't you say the first one is tomorrow? Yeah. But I have a <laughs> I have a commitment tomorrow afternoon. But going forward, I could be available. And you before. can't be on it. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's just not. So you want it? No. <laughs> so I can go so tomorrow. I would have to go anyway because, because there wouldn't be yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That's why we're on. So I'll let Mike know. For, okay, we'll do a vote. I'll let Mike know. Uh, then it, it'll put. Then they'll put you on the schedule for the city council to make the appointment. Okay. Uh, and then after that, you'll be the rep, which will not be by tomorrow, obviously. Okay. I'll go tomorrow. Uh, I've already let them know that um, there'll be someone new soon. Okay. Uh, probably won't go with you to the October meeting. That's fine. What time is it tomorrow? It's from six. 30 to 8 30 and there's pizza I, there's pizza. I, 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 know. I should have started I should have led with that yeah, yeah. why there was never pizza when no I worked no one told there. me it's it's pretty new I used to work for it was, it was never pizza. <laughs> when they moved the time from 7 to 6 30 they, they said they needed to have pizza do they have good topics <laughs> there's a mix I could, of come pizzas. To the, I could come to this like second half of it I don't know if that's appropriate 
You could, but don't. I don't think you don't, don't kill yourself. Don't do it. Don't. That's fine. Yeah. Send me off in October. Mike could possibly go with you. <laughs> Mike, Mike will stay the alternate. So if you ever can't go to me, you let Mike go, and he could possibly go. Okay. So you should call Mike tonight. Tell him. <laughs> can't go tomorrow. As the new representative. If I'm being if I'm being totally honest, there's times I miss meetings and didn't tell Mike because I didn't want to bother Mike, or else I didn't want to go. Okay. So I was very very adult of me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the world. Yeah. The world <laughs> didn't. Good call. Let's yeah. replace you. A long time ago, I realized that these things, whatever you say on tape, is probably not going to haunt you. Who else to live by? Nixon said that. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. Um, okay. So let's let's have a vote. Does do we have a, a nomination? I nominate Marcella. Am I saying your name right? Marcella. Okay. To be a representative to the CDRPC. Second. Second. Okay. Oh, second oh. swooped in and took it away it. from Jim. She seconded. Yes, no, yeah, I like that. Mine was more yeah. confident and loud, I, like I think. That. Yeah. yeah. Less sleep deprived. Yeah. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay. So we now have uh, suggested to the Thank city you. council that, that we'd like Thanks. to have Marcella appointed. And, might I just and I'll be that resigning. You're, that you're public service trajectory is like sky <laughs> high. <laughs> you, this is like your second meeting here. And you've already taken on another committee. Says so the yeah. guy who became vice chair of the month. No, it was way longer than that. Way <laughs> longer than that. <laughs> All right. So, all right. So with that, uh, we were going to work on the city plan update, but really we need to coordinate better, I think, and, and with Mike before the next meeting and, and just... Yeah. Go with gusto. Can, we, can I just really quickly, well, since we're all here and we're sort of on the subject, I just kind of want to, where are we? Like, I just kind of forget where we are. With the City plan? Yeah. What, what did we, I just remember there was sort of the branding statement. We had, oh, we had reviewed a list of priorities from the other committees around the city, and I just can't remember. So I think I had missed a couple meetings. I, I, just, I think there's a lot of confusion about that. Uh, and I think that's that's why we should start from start from a place with Mike next time of, of starting with a like where are, where are we going from here? Yeah. Okay. We need yeah. like a plan and a schedule and yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys been reviewing actual documents yet? Is, is there anything written Sometimes. down that? <laughs> it's been really a, okay. It's it's been it's been a morphous has been informed. Like started, but yeah. I saw the branding statement. Was that for this city plan? It was no. past one. Past one. But we may hang on to it. Well, right. I think it did. Yeah, oh. I think it was just used as a model for okay. us to think about and drafting a new one. Okay. And That's maybe I'll uh, send this around again, but um, I had created a template for, so the idea was like a lot of the committees or subcommittees would put forward some recommendations for their topic areas, so like energy, housing, transportation, et cetera. Um, but before we asked them for feedback, we wanted to give them um, some clear guidance and a template to fill out so that people gave us information that would be useful yeah. and that it would be consistent across the, the different committees. Yeah. Um, and I started with Barb gave me, she's also in the energy committee, so she gave me some of the work that they had done, so I took it and then converted it into um, Format that I thought could be useful. Um, and we've talked about it conceptually, maybe even looked at it on a screen here, but I feel like we haven't really. It'd be good to have people dig into it and try doing it. And I think going through that might help us understand like what we're working towards or not working towards. Um, but it does seem like. Someone needs to do this, and we need to know when and how. We can't just like hope that the city plan happens. So I'm going to work with Mike before the next meeting to to try to organize some of these thoughts and get a plan going. What what I'm thinking of is uh, including on the agenda for next time a discussion of the vision statement 
that was one starting place. A discussion of uh, the template that John was talking about and applying that to the energy plan. Shoot for that. Uh, right. I already put, well, I don't know what I, I started with a few of those. So, but I, we, we I, think the, I think the best way is to walk through a subject matter area. Right. And, and, and in the city, in the energy plan is the most fleshed out example we have, I think. So does that sound okay? Uh, okay. So, so we'll do that. The, um, I will And those, I think, I think that sounds like that could take up some time. Another thought I have, but I'm not sure if it's worthwhile, is to put down as an item a review of uh, the notes from when we have the citywide committee meeting, and re as a refresher. But, what was that committee meeting? Uh, so we held an event where we invited all of the city-related planning, planning-related committees at, okay. to the uh, pavilion and everyone presented about three goals that they thought should be the most important for their area for the city plan. Okay. So we have that and it's it's a really great resource to have in our back pocket to kind of help guide us and focus us as we go. Mm -hmm. But our problem isn't so much related to that right now, it's kind of with taking the next the steps that we need to take to get moving on actual work on the city yeah. plan. Okay. And what do you think of the concept of it being um, something where we can move things into like a basket of things that we are ready to go and you know this is a policy we're good on and this is a strategy we want to move forward with so that we, we're not like holding everything up for however long like this will never be perfect but that we are actually you want to have work baskets for like discrete What's that? You want to have like work baskets for discrete for subsections or something? So, so instead of thinking of it by, you know, if we have things coming in by topic area, that's fine. And things are in like, you know, draft, pretty good place and ready to go. If we move, if we start trying to move things into a ready to go and actually moving towards implementing things, Can treat this more again as like a, a working document, um, and not as this huge thing that feels overwhelming that we have to get everything right to vote on, but that we can move forward with things that we have consensus on and um, start adopting some of those policies and strategies, and maybe sending them to city council. Yeah. Is that a major shift from before? Would that be a major shift that would City Council be expecting that? I think it's a big, it's a major shift on how planning in yeah. Vermont is done. And I think yeah, it gets at one of the biggest problems we've had where we keep adding more topic areas and make it more and more complex because our world is complex, but we're still just a bunch of volunteers without more, more capacity. Uh, yeah, I, I just, it sounds good to me. I just don't know if there's any sort of procedural or even like statutory limitations on doing that. I just don't know. I like the idea a lot. But I think when we get to a place where we have, where everything's moving and in a to-go place, we'll have to have like an official, yeah. here's the one that we're shipping up to the state to, to check off. But I think it's... Right, that's kind of the thing we... I think we can still do. I think that model sounds great. Um, and it's, to me, feels like a, we set up a process for here's, here's a planning process that you can do within your committees to figure out what it is that you want to be doing and then just go do it instead of saying let's wait till we get it all in our plan. Right. Right. So we're just setting the process and the framework for and then saying here committee go run with this process and framework and it'll end up looking kind of like this and then you can just start doing things. Right because we're doing it it happens anyway right? Right. So like <laughs> but then they're all at the end they're all in the same sort of yeah. format at least so we can say yeah that's our plan even though it's gonna keep evolving, which makes it a better plan. And hopefully, I mean, if this works, and maybe this is overly optimistic about it, but 
that's probably the best way to be if we're trying to move towards that. But we continue that, and every year there's like an update to the plan where we shift things in and out of our strategies, and it becomes less of this once a decade. So, okay, I'll feel a lot better once we go through one and, and see it happen so, 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 so some things click. So we'll put that on the agenda to go through. You'll be available to help lead. Um, so not next meeting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first meeting in October, but I will send things out between now and then. It does, I, I think that discussion can still happen between now and then and going through that, going through the template can happen without me necessarily there. I think it, since you're since you're like the, the main mind behind it, I don't know, I would feel better if you were there. We could try to organize it where the next meeting we go through some other town, city plan related things and we can save that discussion then for the one after. Is everyone okay with that? That's good. I don't feel equipped to like try to facilitate that discussion right now and not until I see more. Personally. I feel like we could spend a lot of time next meeting just kind of figuring out milestones and rough timelines and okay. sort of just taking stock of where we are and where we need to go. I don't think we need to get close to even implementing any. I think getting a better idea of what um, what's done already yeah. from Mike. Yeah. Getting yeah. really getting a solid update from him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> where things are would be helpful, I think. Because yeah, we're all a little confused. That's that's ninety minutes right there. <laughs> Easy. Okay. <laughs> but, so update next time and uh, the vision statement. The alternative is alternative is we just pick a weekend and we bang it out. <laughs> and whatever it, we're done. I mean, we like, talked about that it, last year. Yeah, yeah you, you were the only other person. Here. Here. I was like, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. It's like whatever we're shut. doing. Come over to my house Sundays, and like <laughs> hang out in my basement. <laughs> It'll be good enough. <laughs> we'll have some football games in the background. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. There will be no football in the background. I don't, whatever, whatever you want to watch. It's up to you. We're not watching so any Saturday of this. We're planning yeah. every day. <laughs> no distractions. I, I, for, I don't know. I'm, I'm hung up a little bit on wanting to hear from others before we jump into any like, extensive planning like that. Who, who are the yeah, others? We, well, we, we, so we've already heard through the one event that we had. Yeah. Um, it's all and we can, so we, so we have that. It's, it's, that's, currently that's all we have. I feel like, I feel like as we jump into any particular area, we're going to want to do some back and forth um, right. with the other, okay. with the related committees as we do it. And that's and that's just that's just the way I'm conceiving of it. Like, if if we want to go this other direction where we just do a whole lot of like a surge of work, and then go out and seek that feedback, which maybe is a different approach that you guys are more interested in. I mean, I can go along with that. Let's get an update from Mike. Yeah, <laughs> we'll start with that. Yeah. Hmm? Let's just get an update from Mike, and I think that'll help sort of. Situate us. I'm really at the point, you know, I'm at the class, like, I don't know what I don't know phase of this project, so. Yeah. I have a lot of ideas, but I want them to be tempered with other committees and things. It might be good to look at um, city council priorities as well. And see what's on their list that specifically relates to our planning efforts. That's a great point. In addition to the committee comments. Because I think they have a strategy session every year, don't they? Yeah, like fundamentally what they adopt as priorities and strategies are what a city plan should be, right? So like this disconnect we have is probably something worth. Maybe they should just do it. Yeah. Well, they have to adapt it. Yeah. <laughs> so I think there is that a little bit of disconnect between what, what we're thinking, what city council is doing. I think there's also a bit of a disconnect with the dozens of volunteer groups and boards and things in the city that 
I think ideally in this process, like a lot of our work would actually be truly about like shepherding all of the stuff that's going on out there and sort of bringing it in. Yeah, there's a lot of smart people with good ideas. I mean, yeah, we need to just harvest them. Mm -hmm. And some of them are already, so I know Parks, Parks Commission is already trying to do their own planning because they want to figure out what their committee should be doing. And so how does that, we need to figure out how, how what committees are already doing fits into a larger structure. And, and so that's why I like coming from a place of like wanting to have those conversations before us planning anything. How many committees are there? Yeah, I mean, that meeting, how many did we had at least, tw I was going to say 15 or 20? Yeah, at least. I think it's 22 or something. I think it's more than 20. That We're includes biased. subcommittees within committees? I don't think there no. are subcommittees. No. Some of them are redundant. Like there's more than yeah. one transportation. Right. Well, I'm just saying like, and, and but that's also not like counting like, like tree team commission could be within parks. There's there's like team bridges right. and these like non government groups own too. Okay. I was right. So they, they chapter wise for the plan they would have to there are some merging. Yeah. Areas. So I was just sort of wondering what if it's realistic to think if we could bring in a couple of committees every meeting and just sort of have us sort of a face to you know face to face with them for. Minutes, half hour, but if there's 20 committees, it takes a year to do. Right. So. I think Mike's plan is already to work with them. He has like that from that spreadsheet, he had different meetings where he would be working with them, and then they would come to us at the end and show us their work. Yeah. But I think we've missed some of the setup of what that process should look like because right. I don't really know what he's doing with the committees. Yeah, I think that And if we want them to use this format, which I don't, maybe that's what he's using, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. Okay. Yep. So we'll we'll plan to get the update from Mike and okay. next time. We'll go from there. Just we'll figure this out as we go. I'll move to adjourn. Okay. Non-debatable. So so Second. moved. Seconded. <laughs> Seconded. And we are adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>